It's extremely impactful and it's the most talked about topic as of now. So HGLT2 inhibitors are, uh, have been in the market for the past several years. They were usually used only for like glucose lowering. But lately, there have been studies by Empareg, uh, Canvas trials, and recently it came out, the DARPA HF study, uh, which came out actually this week in the New England Journal of Medicine. And all these studies basically show that there has been a significant reduction in heart failure related hospitalizations. Um, it can be as high as like 30%, which is significant because patients with diabetes have major cardiovascular mortality and morbidity, and heart failure remains a, a significant complication of long standing diabetes for type 1 and type 2. So, a 30%, 39% reduction in a heart failure hospitalization is very significant in quality of care and disease management. And the most recent trial which came out earlier this week shows that even patients who do not have type 2 diabetes, when given these medications, there's a reduced risk of re-hospitalization with heart failure. Uh, which is significant. Um, there have been a trial called CVD Real, which spans across six countries, and it compares all the different SGLT2 uh, inhibitors in this class, and uh, encompasses around 300,000 patients, and shows again around a 30%, 33% decrease in heart failure reduction, and close to 35 to 39% in cardiovascular mortality. So overall, it's very useful. On the side, there are also studies going on showing the impact of this class of medication on decreased progression of uh, CKD, the chronic kidney disease. Data is yet to come, but there has been some meaningful impact being seen in decreased progression um, of renal disease, which again is a major complication in patients with diabetes.